What is up, people? Miss Fowler here again. Welcome to day two of year three. So, uh, just wanted to go on a little rant today. Sorry if you're not, if you don't like rants, but, uh, <sighs> I know people complain about their bosses sometimes, but when your boss is your family member, and it's a family member you don't like, especially one that's a piece of shit, uh, most of the time, especially when you know something that they did, and yet they, that they did to one of your other family members, and then they still lie straight to their face, um, you know, besides all of that, um, I definitely feel like I am not appreciated or given credit for what I do. Now, what do I mean? Well, today he got pissed off because, well, for one, he gets pissed off very, 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 very easily. Let me, let me get that out of the way. He gets pissed very easily, okay? Now, I've been there three weeks so far, but the way that everything goes, it, it really does not count as three weeks because it's only four days um, a week. Um, but it was three days last time because Christmas, and then three days this time, or no, four days because he had me go in a day early this week, but it's only been two, two days so far this week, so really two and a half weeks, but really not really because it's, it's not even full weeks, um, and half the time were dead days where pretty much no customers came in. So you can't really learn anything if you can't do anything because there's no customers. So you take the, all of that into account and it's really only been like four or five days worth of, of working so far. Okay? And that's with days in between where sometimes you can forget easier. Right? So he gets pissed off at me today because I forgot where something went and I... I there was something that he wanted me to do that I've never done and he got pissed off at me because I didn't know how to do it even though I've never done it and he said because uh, he's done it in front of me and that means that I should have known that even though he flat out told me before that that's what he does not what I do and there's several other things that he said that I do not have to worry about doing it because that's what he does and now today he completely changed it and gets mad at me that I don't know any of that even though he said that that's his part not my part and I don't have to worry about it his words I do not have to worry about it and then today I should have worried about it had worried about it from the start anyway um, I forget how, where one thing goes, and I forget where one other thing goes, or something like that. And for some reason that, that makes him so pissed off, because I didn't know where the chicken went in the freezer, fridge. Yet, completely, and then he's saying that be, the reason why I forget is because I don't pay attention. And that's why. And... As in, like, nobody has ever forgotten anything before, no matter how much they pay attention. It's just impossible. If you have 100% attention on something, it's impossible to forget, according to him. Um, completely ignoring the fact that in those five total days worth of time of actually doing stuff, which really, because of how, how 
restaurants work and stuff, really, uh, depending on the restaurant, of course, your busy times only last like maybe two or three hours. So if you take all of that into account, maybe it's worth like 10-ish hours of work within a span of three weeks. Um, and I know a whole ton of shit somehow because I'm surprised that my brain's held enough, all of this information. Luckily I have or else I, he probably would have been even more pissed by now. Um, but I know how to do the f garlic knots, right? Three, six, twelve. But, and you gotta wrap each one in the tin foil. And if it's six or more, they come in the foam containers with marinara sauce on the side. Chicken tenders always come in five, unless the tenders are a little bit too small, then they come in six with marinara sauce on the side. Mozzarella sticks always come with six with, in a smaller container with marinara sauce on the side. Chicken wings come in six and twelve. If they order 24, you still count it as two separate 12 orders by having 12 in one thing, 12 in another. And they can consist of, they can be mild sauce, hot sauce, barbecue, teriyaki, um, CPR hot, or uh, what's that other one that... I know what it is. I'm just really tired right now, but I know what it is. I know where it is. I can see it. it's the yellow pout black pepper something. It's black pepper mixed with something else. Lemon pepper. There we go. Um, and you can have any of those choices, and I know how to do all of that. And then on the side, you can choose between ranch dressing and blue cheese. And you put those in the bag and all that stuff. Then, uh, French fries. I do a French fries. Um, that's in the little bowl thing. You fill that to the top and you put that and you put that in the fryer thing. And then you put the seasoned salt on it. You flip that over and over. <laughs> and then put it into the thing with ketchup on the side and all that. Then the salads, uh, which I, there's still three that I need to memorize, but for the most part I got it. Um, a house salad, which is the main thing that you always have to do, um, consists of the lettuce and tomato and black olives and a peppercini thingy and an Italian dressing in it, unless they ask for a different dressing, it's always Italian. Um, and the dressings are blue cheese and ranch dressing and Greek dressing and Italian. I already said Italian. And uh, Caesar. And none of them are labeled either, so you have to know that based on the look. And I've never even heard of Greek dressing or Caesar dressing. I know, I know. But I, I personally haven't heard of it. So I, it's, I get those mixed up sometimes. But, you know, I'm better, getting better at it. Um, and then when you get the specialty salads and the antipasta salad is the all the house salad stuff plus the salami, ham, and what's the sliced cheese called? Provolone, I think. And then you cut those in squares and all that. Not, and all, I know all of this, right? Already. I know all of that by memory, right? Not counting the positioning of each type of food in the thing, because each thing has to be positioned in a certain way and all that stuff. Not counting where everything is in the fridge. Not counting where all the dishes are to put away when they're washed or to get when you need it. 
Not counting the stuff that he asks for when he needs it for the pizza. Not counting remembering to go and get the pizza cutters every so often to go and clean them off to have them fresh for the next pizza. And all of that I have memorized already. But yet for some reason none of that matters if you forget one or two things because that means you don't care and you don't pay attention. And he said, if I piss him off tomorrow because I forget something or whatever, that's it. Whatever that means. So, I don't understand. It's like, no matter what I do, no matter how much I'm invested into it and try my best, which he said that I'm not trying my best, and if it is my best, it's not good enough. It's never good enough. No matter how good my best is, it's never good enough. And it's getting harder and harder to not say anything because we don't have money to get out. That's the only reason. That's the only reason we're still staying is because of the money and the debt that he put us in. But bright side from November 15th to December 15th was my best month ever on YouTube in terms of money it's still not close to a side job for even one week worth of a side job but it was still my best month ever and that's really good and thank you guys for that. I pray that it continues. Please keep clicking the like button on, on the videos. That's the only way that, that, that I can keep growing and hopefully at least get it to side job earnings. Because we need to get out. We really need to get out and leave... The cheating, lying, not caring person that we live with. But we're $50,000 in debt. So, because of him. So, still a little ways to go. But hopefully, if you guys can help me any possible way you can, share my video. If you have any my videos, if you have any type of following, or you know a way to get people video uh, views or something to help me out, please. I will. I owe you so much. Please. <laughs> oh God. I thought after I after starting to work, you know, I was gonna start feeling better about myself and all that. And I was until today. And now I feel pretty much just as depressed as I was. Just a different form of it. Cause yeah, I'm out, I'm working. I feel good about myself because I'm actually working and doing good to me. And to a normal person, I'm doing good. But, I don't know. I think the, uh, the negatives outweigh the positives in this one. If it was a normal job, uh, I'd probably be doing pretty good right now. Um, but it's not. So instead... Instead of, you know, getting praised and, and earning earning your money the hard working way and all that. Instead you get talked down on and berated and all that all day. So again, 
If you guys have any possible way of helping me, even if all you can do is click the like button, it's very appreciated. And subscribe if you haven't already. Something I know. But, I don't know. I need, we need to get out. I'm not leaving without my mom. Because she needs to get out. And, obviously, I have a better chance of leaving on my own. But there's no way I'm going to let her stay here on her own. Not with that. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.